Hello, my name is Diana Rucker, and I serve with My Sister's Keeper, a mentoring program for women's ministry at the One Church at Bethel's Family. Today's devotional is titled, Living to Magnify and Vowing to Praise. When we think about living, it is to actively function, and magnify is to render honor to our God. My scripture reference for this devotion is Psalm 69, verses 30 through 31. I will praise the name of God with a song and magnify him with thanksgiving. This also shall please the Lord better than an ox or bullock that have horns and hoofs. I will statements are vows that are made. They are more meaningful because of their importance to the one to whom the vow is made. Scripture tells us in Ecclesiastics 5 and 5 that it is better to not make a vow than to make one and not fulfill it. We all have heard of promise keepers. What about promise breakers? Have you ever had someone not keep a promise? Or have you yourself broke a promise that you made? How often have you made a vow? Not a New Year's resolution, but a commitment to our God. And then, were you committed to keep it no matter what? In spite of the busyness of life and trouble that comes your way? David, the writer of Psalm 69, known as a lament, a cry of distress, was because of the crisis he is experiencing seen in the above passages. This distress causes him to suffer at the hands of his enemies, all because of his devotion to God. However, he makes a vow to praise God with song and magnify him with thanksgiving, even in the midst of trouble. He is so committed that he says his praise will not only please the Lord, but it will be better than the best animal sacrifice that he can offer, fulfilling his vow. Scripture says tribulations will come, but we are to be of good cheer. Good cheer will help us praise and give thanks and magnify. The question I ask is when trouble comes, do you remember your vow to praise in spite of, to give thanks in spite of? Do you remember the song you sung with such passion that praise is what I do even when I'm going through? Or does your trouble take your focus off God, make you disregard your vow to praise, to magnify with thanksgiving because you're looking out to the trouble instead of up to the hill from where your help comes? When we vow to praise, it helps us to trust God, not ourselves, not our situations, not others. It helps us to depend on God to see us through. It helps us to trust God's word. Remember, he's able to keep us from falling, to keep us in perfect peace as we keep our minds stayed on him, to empty ourselves of worry, stress, and that we can cast our cares because he cares for us. Psalms 22 and three says, God inhabits the praises of his people. He dwells there. He hears, cares, and answers. In our living to magnify, there should be an eager expectation to give God our best no matter what. That magnifying God be a priority in our life. That there be a resolve for us to live for Christ. So when in this life challenges comes because of the enemy, trying to kill, steal, and destroy our witness, our joy, our peace, and our testimony, remember your vow to praise to give thanks with a grateful heart, to give thanks to the Holy One, to give thanks because He's given Jesus Christ His Son. This exclamation of praise will please our God. Scripture says, therefore through Him, let us continually offer up to God a sacrifice of praise that is the fruit of our lips that confess His name. Let us pray. Father God in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Father God, that in spite of the troubles that come in our lives, the afflictions, that we can always magnify and glorify and praise you for you're able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever think or imagine. We thank you for the joy that you give us, Father God. And we thank you, Father God, that greater is he that's in us than we that are in the world. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen and thank you, God.